Namaste, everybody. It's the White Magical Tiger. And yes, I did just wake up because I want to remember the details of this dream because I'm meditating here. And uh, I was like, you know what? Because I was first, I like Matthew 6, 33, which says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. And one way I like to do that is... Uh, before I do anything, I like to sit up in my bed and start praying to God. And I like to do the Jesus prayer. So what I got right here are some prayer beads. And uh, what I do on each bead is I do the Jesus prayer, which is Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. And it's part of the Greek Orthodox tradition. And it's a very powerful way to start the day and to end the day. And so that's how I ended my day last night. Uh, I pretty much fell asleep saying the Jesus prayer. And then it's, since I did that, it's very likely that when I wake up, I'm going to pick up where I started. And I, and that's pretty much exactly what I did. Uh, I turned my alarm off and then sat up, start doing the Jesus prayer. Uh, and so, uh, I want to say as well that what we do before going to bed, like, uh, essentially today starts last night and what we do right before going to bed is it's very likely that's what we're going to do when we wake up. So uh, I just wanted to share that aspect. And then uh, as I was sitting here saying the Jesus prayer, I was like, you know what? I got to I got to start sharing the dream before the details start to fade. And and so this this video is going to be called uh, like dream 144,000 superpowers uh, because I've been praying to God. I've been praying to God about the 144,000. And, you know, I'm, I'm slightly concerned because I live here in Hawaii and I have no doubt whatsoever that this place is getting invaded by China and Russia. Like I, I have I've had a dream where Honolulu got nuked. I've had a dream where Kauai got invaded and I saw like battleships on fire. I saw missiles in the air uh, and yeah I mean, i've had a dream about being in a fema concentration camp over on big island and i, I made a video about the dreams i've had uh, i just had a recent dream a couple of weeks ago about involving the chinese military again as well and, and you know i'm just like all love and light right and it's like yeah i'd like to avoid a ww3 scenario like why not go to mexico or something and, and so i pray to god i'm like god you want me to learn espanol i'll go to spanish school man I'll get out of here. I love Aloha, but I don't love that scenario. <laughs> but let thy will be done, not mine. And so if I truly am one of the, the chosen ones, uh, one of the elect, one of the first fruits, the 144,000 that are here to bring heaven on earth, uh, it, it's not what I want. It's where God wants me. And I have the feeling that God wants me right here for all of that it's a bit insane but i'm learning to you know accept it and see what happens because <laughs> maybe maybe at the last moment god will get me the message be like yo get on a sailboat go to mexico or something i'm not sure so let's get into the dream uh and because i've been praying for clarity on that because i'm just like you really want me here you want me here like the, like this place is gonna get invaded in like a year from now like this place here because <laughs> i have a feeling 2025 y'all that's when it's going down like like civil war world war three uh it's all going down 2025 pretty sure about that i've had multiple confirmations and so this dream i just woke up from was very interesting where uh I was at a place that was like racing. It was like a racing place. And it was very interesting. There was actually a tiger. Uh, there was a tiger there. And uh, I was concerned that like the tiger was gonna attack me. Uh, and uh, I ran away, I ran away. And then I came across like some witch and I could, I could sense that she had like picked something up and was like throwing like i think like black darts at me and i start running and i used my imagination and what i did was i created a black wall 
behind me. I imagine like a square, like a black square right behind me to essentially block the darts. And then around my body, I imagined a white sphere. So I had a white sphere around my body and a black square behind the, the sphere to block the darts. Like it was just in my mind, I was intuitively doing that. Like I, I knew telepathically, intuitively that she was shooting energetic darts at me. And I knew to like block it and like cover myself in white light. And then she started like, she sent these like, these like, I don't know, they're not hound dogs, but these like beings after me uh, to chase to chase me down. So they, I don't know, call them like two, two creatures or something that were human like, but I don't think they were human. They were, they were chasing me. And I started running y'all. I started running like Forrest Gump. I started running and, uh, and I start going fast, like fast, fast, fast. Like you ever seen the movie, The Flash? Like that superhero, The Flash? I was running like The Flash was running and everything like slowed down and was slow motion. And I could telepathically read the minds of those that were chasing me. And they were like, he's going so fast. He must have a superpower. That's what he said. I, but I, telepathically, I picked up on that. And that's what they were saying. And I go up some staircases and I go to the fourth floor, I kick in a door and I hide in there. And I, and, and unfortunately I'm scared. I wish I wasn't scared in the dream, but I was. And, uh, and cause, it, and then I can hear them and they're, they're chasing me. And, um, and I, I believe they got to the outside of the door. Like I, I kind of was like holding the door that I kicked in and, uh, to stop them from coming in and I believe they were on the outside of the door and I and I, I, I I'm pretty sure this is what I did in the dream I started saying Hare Krishna like Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare but telepathically in my mind I was saying the Maha Mantra um the, the great mantra now I have my own version side note all respect to King Ram uh but Krishna's divine counterpart is Radha. And so what I like to say sometimes is Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Radha, Hare Radha, 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 Hare Hare. Now, when it comes to protection and everything, I usually pray to King Jesus Christ. That is my go-to. I'm just telling you what happened in this dream. In this dream, I started chanting Hare Krishna. And it, it, and I, I focus like right outside the door. Like That's why I'm focusing my mind's attention. And I'm just chanting Hare Krishna. And then uh, there was like a message being decoded and I felt like it was the creatures, like the creatures had, were like trying to decipher a message or something, or I'm not sure. I remember looking at a wall and there was like a code and it was trying to decipher something. And I saw like May 1, May 1st, I definitely saw May 1st, May 1. Now, then I kind of woke up I'm making this video now. I've had other dreams. Maybe I'll make another video for the different dreams. I'll make a part two because this one's getting kind of long. But I've had I've had multiple dreams this year of like what you call superpowers that involve 144,000. So so let's call this like 144,000 superpowers dream part one, something like that. And I'll make a part two. And uh, and so May first, May one. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> uh, but maybe there'll be an an upgrade i don't know this may 1st probably not i don't think so but may 1st 2025 maybe because you know they invade this place i'm gonna need some upgrades y'all like if i'm supposed to defend hawaii i'm gonna need some upgrades <laughs> <laughs> but maybe it's uh may 1st 2026 may 1st 2027 may 1st 2044 i don't know uh I, I, or who knows i don't know maybe it's a year or it's just i don't know why i said may 1st may 1 but my my waking up i'm like maybe that's the the day something happens i don't know where the upgrade like an upgrade happens where i can run like the flash Cause I kind of have no doubts about that, that like, the, cause you know, to balance out the whole NDB, NWO, uh, and you know, WW3, that whole scenario. And you know what they're trying to do, they're trying to bring hell on earth. Uh, the only way to stop that whole, uh, agenda, you know, 
it's the 144,000. That's the only way to stop what's going to happen. And we're led by King Jesus Christ. Some have made the connection that King, uh, the, the book of Revelation prophecy of Jesus Christ coming on a white horse is essentially identical to the prophecy of Kalki, which is the, the, when Krishna comes back. And I teach on this channel that Christ Krishna is a consciousness and it's the same thing. That the word Christ etymologically comes from the Sanskrit Krishna. And that uh, I consider uh, Bhagavan Krishna to be an avatar. Or I consider Jesus Christ to be an avatar. Two different avatars that share the same consciousness. Uh, and that's my understanding of this. And that the real second coming of Christ is you and me awakening to the Christ Krishna consciousness. And yeah, probably there will be uh, Kalki, King Jesus Christ, coming on a white horse with the 144,000 to clean this place up. And Jesus Christ says the works I do, you're going to be able to do the same works and more because I go to the Father. Uh, he essentially says like the works, he's talking about the miracles. He's like the miracles I do, you are going to be able to do the same miracles and more because I go to the Father. And then like church, church loves to say that it's like blasphemy to say we're gods, but Jesus Christ literally taught, I think it's John 10, I might be wrong on that, but he's talking to the Pharisees and he's like, is it not written in your scriptures, ye are gods? And he was referring to the book of Psalms, chapter 82, verse six, where it says, ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high. Jesus Christ straight up referred to the Old Testament book of Psalms saying that we are gods and that we're all children of the most high God. Just think about it. When it says, thou shalt honor thy mother and father, on this channel, we teach that the Holy Spirit is Heavenly Mother. And so when it says, thou shalt honor thy mother and thy father, it's talking about God. Because our mother father is in heaven. We also have an earthly mother and father. So it's, thou shalt honor thy earthly mother and father. And there's a divine reflection of, they are a divine reflection of our Heavenly Mother Father. Our real Mother Father, who we need to honor. And just think about it. You got Heavenly Father and then a male, the Holy Spirit, which the church likes to say is a male. And they got together and had a baby known as Jesus Christ, which is a male. And they talk about how like blasphemous being gay is, but their Holy Trinity is pretty gay. Now, th hear me out. Heavenly Father is a male. The Holy Spirit, read the book of Proverbs. It's all about the Holy Spirit. It's about a woman named Wisdom. And you translate Wisdom from English to Greek, you get Sophia. And so the Holy Spirit, her name is Sophia, that's Heavenly Mother. So you got Heavenly Father, male, Holy Spirit, female, Heavenly Mother. They get together, have a divine child, the Christ, the Krishna, embodied in Lord Krishna and Lord Christ, these two different avatars of God. Now, Jesus Christ has the power to cast out demons and uh, he's, he's the Messiah. Don't get me wrong, y'all, he's the Messiah. Does Krishna have those abilities too, like Lord Krishna? Probably, but do I know that? I mean, I, I kind of had that experience just now in the dream. I was chanting Hare Krishna and then, you know, everything turned out all right from that moment on. Uh, and, but I've never done it. I've never tried it. I usually, when it, when it comes to self-defense in the spiritual realm, I'm usually calling upon uh, King Jesus Christ. That's my go-to. But you know what? This is a truth channel. My religion's truth. My religion is not Hinduism. My religion is not Christianity. My religion is truth, and I want to know what the truth is. And I know the truth is that we can rebuke the Satan and the devils and the demons in the name of King Jesus Christ. But possibly we can do the same thing in the name of Yadava the Krishna, Bhagavan Krishna, Lord Krishna, from the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, if that's the truth, because this is my, that's my religion. My religion is truth. What is the truth? I don't get into dogma. I don't get into blind beliefs. I just want to know what is the truth can we cast out demons in the name of lord krishna because it's prophesied that he's coming back as kalki and the prophecy of kalki is essentially identical to the prophecy of jesus christ in the book of revelation chapter 12. what are the chances of that and i already know christ krishna is a consciousness and it's the same thing so it would not surprise me that Lord Krishna can cast out demons as well. But I'm not sure. 
I haven't quite experienced enough. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't had enough experience. So maybe I need to experiment with that. And if it doesn't work, I just go over to my buddy, King Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, may God bless all y'all. I hope you found this video inspirational. And uh, yeah, aloha, namaste. God bless all y'all.